Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make a Roblox GFX group icon for obviously a group. Before I begin, I want to say I'm going to be doing a giveaway and this giveaway is a GFX. There will be three winners and here's how you enter. So you're going to like and subscribe and you have to like this video. Then you're going to go to the description of this video, go to the Discord, I, I mean the Discord invite code and then you're going to go to Discord and enter it in. Then you should be in this server called Dog Linux Designs. You're gonna see one, you're gonna see a channel called the Guidelines. You should read it all before you do anything. Then click this little thumb. And then go to public chat, ping me and say done. Then put a screenshot of you liking the video and being subscribed to me. Then I'll enter you into a wheel and I'll show the results of the winners in the next video. So now let's get started. First off, you're gonna open Roblox Studio. I'm already in it, and then you're gonna go to your load character, and you can load someone you want. So I'll be using, I wanna use something that's realistic for a group icon, which is not my character. So I'll be doing this guy from Boba. And I'm gonna copy and paste the username. Boom. Now click spawn at origin and click spawn R6. I'm gonna delete the little teddy bear real quick, cause I don't want that there. Boom, there's their character. Now you're going to right click it and export selection and you can paste it in a folder, you can paste the name or whatever you want in a folder. So flez underscore ant, boom. Then you're going to do another one without their accessory, I mean without their body parts. So their head, arms, legs, torso, whatever. Then have only their accessories showing. Then you should rename it so it doesn't get confused with the textures. And right click again, go to export selection. Have another folder called the accessories, it's really helpful. Boom. Now you're gonna open Blender. I'm using Blender 2.83, obviously. And you're gonna open a rig. So I wanna use the paint rig V3. I'll show that, oh, I'll put that rig in the description, the download for it. So you should see this when you open it up. So go over here to Spartan 21 text PNG, click below alpha and click this folder. Go to the folder where you saved it in and here it is, pleasant text PNG. Boom, you see it now. Then you're gonna go to, ooh. <laughs> then you're gonna go to file, import, wait for not OBJ, pleasant OBJ. I mean, no, go to accessories, then go to the accessories OBJ. So now it should look like this, and if it doesn't, you might need to do some adjusting. And right click, go to set origin to geometry, and you can see the arrows are now really close to it. Then click N on your keyboard, and this thing should show up. So you might need to rotate it, and you might not need to. If you don't, then don't worry about it, but if you do, go to rotation, click Z, and do 180. But I'm fine right now, so I don't need to. Now let's start posing the character. So it's really simple. Click a rig part and go to object mode and click pose mode. And you can start doing whatever you want. So I'll do a really simple pose that many group icons would do. And it would look like this. If you want a really in-depth tutorial on how to use Blender 2.83 rigs, I'll do that in another video. This is just a quick one. Then maybe I'll write Rotate it like this. And now I wanna move the legs. So it's different to move legs with this type of rig. You have to go at the bottom part instead of this area because then this will happen. So go ahead and do that. Maybe if you wanna rotate it, you can still do that. I'm not entirely used to this rig. I don't really, I'm not a fan of it, but you can do whatever you want. So, boom, I'm okay with this pose. It seems good. And then I'm gonna um, click Shift A, do light, and I'm gonna do point for now. And the point light will be there. So go over here, oops, to do so go over here and 
to the scene options, go to render, render engine and click EV. Boom. So now I'm gonna do another light and this is gonna be a sun. Keep in mind, you can do the lights however you want. This is how I like to do it though. Or you can use an HDRI, I don't care. So now you're gonna spawn in a camera, do shift A, camera, click zero on your numpad. And I'll go right here. Then you can turn on ambient inclusion if you want. Okay, so now go to here, called dimensions. Go to file format, make sure it's PNG and then RGBA. Then go to right here to the camera, click film then click transparent, boom. Now you're free to render, and I'm gonna do that right now. Render image, it'll take like two seconds with Eevee, boom. Now you're gonna go to image, save as image, and I'm gonna save it to my folder. So, image saving, group icon. Now you're gonna open up whatever editing program you wanna do. I'll be using Photoshop, Control O, image saving which is what I saved it to boom here it is so as you can see it's really dark and if you want to make it brighter you can so I'll be doing that go over here and make the brightness higher and merge it down now you can add some quick effects so first we're gonna do control N and we need to open up a correct canvas size so the Roblox canvas size or Group icon size is 512 by 512. So it should look like this when you open it. Then get your render and drag it over here. Then scale it down a bit by doing Control T. Boom, here it is. So Now I'm gonna do a different background and let's add some effects. So first off, click this background and go to gradient overlay. You can do whatever overlay you want. I'll go with maybe a blue one. Oops, go back. Then you can drag it. If you just keep on dragging, you can start seeing. Then you can just get rid of whatever effects you don't want. You can add different ones with your character. So maybe I want to make this more black. Boom. Then maybe you want to make the drop shadow white. I don't care. That looks cool too. I'm going to keep it black for now. Cool. So now I kind of want to make it more brighter for the render. So I'm going to do that more. And now you can add overlays, so control O, and you can find overlays on Google, and here are some that I like to use, and you can also use brushes, but we're going to get to that later on. Then go to normal over here, click linear, do linear dodge add, I'm going to do control J so I can have another layer like that. Then slightly erase it with the low softness. Now we're gonna add a different overlay. A really common one is right here. Find it. Here, this starburst right here. So let's drag it. And it's really gray and I don't like that. So I'm gonna do color overlay, make it white, control J, then Select both of those layers and do Control G, Control E. Now put it below the render, and boom, you can see it in the background. Then let's do more overlays. So I like to use this one too, right over here. This is also a really common overlay. And then you can do control T to like do whatever you want with it to size it down. So 
maybe now we have to add text because it's obviously a group icon, so let's do that. So I'm gonna make up a random name. This will be a cafe and I'll just say, um, night, oops, move the layer above the render and nighttime cafe. Now I'm gonna make sure it's a different font and ignore how it's too big. We're gonna change that in a second. You should always have a font that would fit the theme of it. Change the color. All right, so I'm gonna make sure it actually shows now. Boom. I'm gonna make cafe a different layer. So let's put it into a group together by selecting both and doing control G. Then click the group and add effects. So maybe a stroke, maybe gradient overlay. Do one that would fit, so maybe. Mm. It can be hard looking for one if you don't really know what you're doing. This one seems good. Then you can add more effects. I'll be doing more bevel and embers. Maybe an inner glow if you want. I'm not gonna do that though. Drop shadow. And then I'll be doing one more thing, outer glow. Okay. Now let's change it up and make it more fancier. So for example, with cafe, I want to change the font. I want to make it. I want to make it that font. Maybe with maybe a little like rotation on it. And then with nighttime, what if I want to do this? Okay, so now I want to actually warp the text. And to do that, you have to right click it, the text layer, and do warp text. We can go with a upper shell. Make sure it doesn't cover the character too much, but in this case it kind of did. So I gotta fix that. Then with cafe, I wanna fix it too. And I wanna do a different warp. So this looks cool. So I'm gonna add like a couple more overlays that are a little different than these ones. Boom, that's how you make an easy group icon. Um, but if this video helped you, make sure you are liking the video and you are subscribed to my channel. It means a lot, I'm almost at 400 already. I just got 300. I'm already at 350 something, so thank you a lot for that. I'm still making videos, school started, so I'm not gonna be as active anymore, but I still will be making videos. Remember, there is a giveaway going on. I'll be announcing the winner next video, so stay tuned for that. Have a nice day, peace out.